Did you need something, Varric? A stiff drink, maybe. I feel like I've been kicked by a horse. I almost wish Blondie hadn't wiggled his fingers and cleared Bartrand's head. I liked it better when I just wanted to kill the bastard. <laughs> what if an easy, I guess? If I ever had doubts about who was the better brother, they're long gone. You did good. No, oh, please, Hawk. There was never any doubt. I'm the handsome, irresistibly charming one. I'll deal with Bartrand somehow. Maker that'll be even more of a joy than it used to be. I still can't believe what he did in that house. It's one thing to walk away and leave us to die, but that. I mean, where did we even bring him to get cured? He didn't do this on his own. The artifact from the Tide warped his mind. Don't let him completely off the hook. He chose to steal the damned thing. He brought it on himself. Anyway, thank you. I'll keep looking into who bought that blighted statue. At the very least, they need to be warned about what happened. Here yeah, that Inquisition you learn way more about the Red Lyrium. I don't really know how much we learn in this game about it. Like what exactly happened and stuff. Ah, we can check in with Eric once more, so let's do that. But yeah, please don't spoil things about the about the idol, because I don't remember what it is, and it would be fun to just find it out. And once we find out, we can talk about it. <laughs> I mean, when did this Very game release? Tight. When did I play it first? The Kunari if they really wanted to. Okay, well, Eric. You have got to hear this, Hawk. There's this tale making the rounds. They're saying you single-handedly fought off a pirate invasion at midnight on the sacred ground of the Chantry. Well, neat. Strange that people would get such an idea out of the blue. I may have embellished a detail or two here and there, <laughs> a little, and added a few things that didn't happen. For pacing, you understand. Ever the storyteller. Just don't be surprised if people seem in awe. What compels you to spin these ridiculous tales? I love the sound of my own voice, and I'm a compulsive liar. Honestly, I don't know. It's just something I do. There's power in stories, though. That's all history is. The best tales, the ones that last. Might as well be mine. Uh, I like the roguish parts. That's usually also an archetype I like to play in video games. I find it hard to believe you're spreading these stories without getting something in return. Well, that just shows what you know, Hawk. The stories are their own reward. You really need to see the look on someone's face when I tell them you ripped the arms off an ogre. <laughs> Just once. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to be the main character in these tall tales of yours? There's a recipe to a good hero, Hawk. It's like alchemy. One part down to earth, one part selfless nobility, two parts crazy, and you season liberally with wild falsehoods. <laughs> you let that oh. percolate through a good audience for a while, and when it's done... You've got your hero. And it's probably also more believable if you tell, like, high tales about someone else and not about yourself. I guess all works. A little reverence wouldn't hurt, though. You may not be my best dressed or cleanest friend, Master Hawk, but you're all right in my book. Anyway, I I'll quit exaggerating before it goes to your head. What are you looking at? Are you one of them? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's go and speak with Isabella. Since we're here. Favorite so pirate. You found your brother. I did. Wasn't expecting that. I assume there was a time when you and he were friends. With Bartrand? No. Just brothers. Occasionally, he wasn't insufferable. <laughs> and yet you remained at his side. Too bad he didn't do the same. Yeah, ouch. You think I'm made of coin? 
Isabella, my dusky goddess, you have buried yourself in the flesh of my heart like a worm in a red, red apple. You heart How bored she looks. Oh, look, my friend is here. Excuse me. <laughs> but I haven't gotten to the part where I invite you to feast upon my tender white flesh. That's all right. I think <laughs> uh. I'll manage. Speaking of romance, you and Fenris, eh? That taut, controlled body, the brooding demeanor and intense gaze. I hear he still wears the shackles from his life in bondage under his clothes. You know what they what say. What kind of rumors are those? Don't you? Ah, <sighs> I'm going to regret asking you to continue, aren't I? He can't find a saw. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I had you there. You thought I was going to say something dirty. <laughs> I got to say, back when I first played, I really didn't like Isabella, but she's kind of growing on me. <laughs> if not just for all the bad jokes and the dirty things. Mm. Why do you always win at cards? <laughs> because I cheat, kitten. <laughs> this trinket, it's elven, isn't it? From your clan. Don't bet anything you're not prepared to lose. Here, have it back. Aww. Very kind, actually. A jigger of your finest whiskey for my friend over here. The hanged man's finest isn't much, but it'll get you just as drunk as anything you'll find in Hightown. I looked at the Red Lyrium idol art, it's very creepy. It looks like two skeletons fighting with a serpent looking on. Hmm. Oh well, undead, not skeletons. Sounds like much fun. Yeah, I think something about the, the Red Lyrium is also in the tra was also in the trailer for Red Wolf. Or was it at the end of Inquisition? Anyway. That's generous of you. What's coin if not for spending, eh? You could save up to buy yourself a new ship. There you go. Ruining our fun with good sense. I'm sorry. I thought I'd have to watch myself around you. But as it turns out, you're all right. What do you mean, I'm all right? You don't judge people. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. You know, little things like that. If I had someone like you on board my ship when the storm hit maybe we wouldn't have been shipwrecked she's going to tell us a bit more about what happened if you hadn't been shipwrecked we wouldn't have met that would have been a shame <laughs> I'll drink to that friendship plus 20 neat okay ooh mirror image hmm Let's go to Merrill, especially after the whole mess with the uh, Fainreels. Oh. We have the Fainreels vision. Hmm. Merrill's home, and let's go by day. Hey there! My second favorite elf. <laughs> I can't believe I turned on you. With the demon in the Fade, I'm so sorry. Masaranas. I'll understand if you can't forgive me. The interesting thing is, um, if you have Fenris with you, there's also a chance that he turns on you. Of course, in a different situation, but yeah. Then you have a similar talk like that at that uh, when playing first time. I mean, it wasn't you. It kind of was, right? If I held a grudge against everyone who attacked me in a dream, I'd have no friends. How do you do that? Make everything better with a smile. It's like magic that doesn't get you in trouble. Sarcasm. 
I've been so careful in all my dealings with spirits until now. To make such an obvious mistake. It frightens me. It takes so little for a mage to fall. I mean, that's kind of the reason why you should not really deal with demons. What do you do to protect yourself from demons? The Keeper taught me. In the Fade, you must believe nothing but yourself. Everything there is a lie, or a trick, or a trap. I knew not to trust, is I and I don't know why I did. What made you give in? It felt like every word the demon spoke reached out and pulled at my heart. I didn't want to believe it, but I just had to. Mm. You're already in a lot more danger than most mages. Because of the blood magic, I know. I'll be more guarded from now on. I Thank hope the creators so. you were there. It won't happen again. I'll make sure of that. I really hope so, Meryl. <laughs> Awkwardly waiting in the first room. I've got something to show you. Come and see. A mirror. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, true, it's not reflecting. I was kind of thinking that it's just due to technical limitations. Something seems off about your mirror. Shouldn't it reflect the room? No. It's not that sort of mirror. I've spent the last few years restoring this. One of my clan found it in the Brazilian forest, we think. Poor Tamlin. We never found him. Just the shattered pieces of the Alluvian. Tamlin. Isn't Tamlin someone from Dragon Age Origins? The name somehow feels familiar. Alluvian. I'm sure you wouldn't show something this dangerous to just anyone. It's not dangerous, I promise. I fixed it, or, or tried to, with blood magic. <laughs> oh, gosh. won't hurt anyone. <laughs> I cringe every time she says that. She has no idea what she's messing with. I do. I have it totally under control. But it doesn't work. I've tried everything, and I think it's because it needs to be finished with a special tool. I thought you finished it. And a rule in home. And my clan has one. It's been in their hands for generations. Oh, Meryl, do you have any idea what you're getting into? <laughs> but you're afraid to face Keeper Marathari again. Exactly. You have no idea, the Keeper. I, I can't talk to her. We fight or, or talk circles around each other. She has a disappointed frown that turns your bones to jelly. Please help me. You will, won't you? Kind of depends on what we're getting, but... Let's go to the Keeper. I'll go with you. Maseranus, I'll find some way to repay you, I promise. Oh well. Playing dangerous games. Let's go and take Meryl with us. Yeah. All the magic power. Mirror image. Hmm. Are they still there? I thought last time we had some people greeting us here, right? Want something sharp, Fenris? No. Slam your fingers in a door? No. Smack your head on a low beam? Is there a point to this line of questioning? Just wondering why you're so cross all the time. Perhaps it's the inane prodding. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't imagine Meryl and Anders or Meryl and Fenris to be friends. If you walk the paths of Sundermount, walk softly. Something out there hungers for the unwary. Don't mind me, just looting your 
chest. There was something like a Danish tattoo or something in it, right? No, I didn't. I didn't read, I just saw Danish. Hmm. Keeper, you return to us, Stalin. Have you reconsidered this path at last? I... Well, this is awkward. Go on. Now, let's be nice. I'm with you. Thank you, Hawk. Keeper, I need the Arulin home, the ancient carving blade that Master Island keeps. I see. You wish to rebuild the Alluvian. You don't have to approve of it. I'm invoking Via Sulavanan. I'll do whatever task you wish. Well, I'm glad to know I can still disapprove. <laughs> it is your right. I will give you a service to perform if you insist. Oh, interesting. You can ask for everything? If you're going to do a task for that? Let's ask about that. What did Merrill invoke? Our history belongs to all Dalish child. So our clan's most cherished relics can be claimed by everyone. Any oh. Dalish can perform a service for the clan and gain ownership of such an item. For a time. That is what Meryl has there invoked. Is. Even if she has chosen to live apart, she is still one of the people. She really doesn't seem happy about that. What exactly is this thing we're asking for? It is an ancient carving tool. Used by our wood shapers, passed down for countless generations. Our clan has carried it since before the fall of the Dales. It is as old as Arlathan itself. We appreciate your help. This means a lot to Meryl. I'm glad that Meryl has a friend in you, child. I hope you will look after her. I'd love to know more I about can take care of myself, the risks and yes, the Illuvian. I know. Avar Terrell has taken the lives of three of our hunters. It lairs in a cavern in the mountainside. Seek it out, slay it. No one else must fall to its anger. Do this for us, and I will give you the Arulin home. May the Dread Wolf never catch your scent. But I mean, so far, we don't know anything about the Illuvian. We also don't know like what the risks are, what Meryl wants to achieve by that, and we couldn't ask. We're just helping her. Ooh, glitter dust. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Ah, last time we walked this path there were lots of undead. Let's see if they are again. They are. Aha. Yeah, speaking about Red Wolf, it's really insane how long Bioware didn't do anything new for Dragon Age, at least for Guardian Games. It's been really ages since the last release. <laughs> I love that Endless is just running in circles. Oops. Why do they deal so much damage? Yikes! Uh, and heal. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Here we go. Come on, dog. I am scared. Maybe should have leveled up Meryl first. Gosh. Run home. Great. Did they even attack me? Okay, Meryl, we need to hear you, but we can't. Hmm. Nope. 
eye mineral. Red Wolf is coming out next next fall. That would be quite soon. I mean, would be awesome. But I don't know. I'm I'm kind of careful since um, they already laid it so many times, and there's so few of the people left who were there at the times of Inquisition. Uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to the release, just a little bit careful with my optimism. Hmm. Okay, is there anything interesting here? Nope. Just walk the whole way for nothing. Let's go down. I almost died for nothing. <laughs> I mean, isn't like Dragon Age Day sometime in December or something? I would expect if they announce a release for Dreadwolf that they would do it on that day. Let's walk the other way. The cave must be near camp. The keeper would just warn the hunters away otherwise. Let's not leave the area. Here we go. Ah, there's something more elf fruit. I never used all the elf fruits I found so far. Anyway. Hmm. Here we go. Come on. Oh, let's level up Meryl, because I think that will make it a little easier to fight with her. Go. Bam. Also interesting, with her we are way more in the middle, I think, because we have lots of rivalry we also got. Uh, let's just go for the primal stuff. Dun, dun, dun. That's a special thing. Age Pariah. Blood of the First. Reserved 70% of mana. Star casting consumes health instead of mana. Ah, blood magic. Ah, let's take the Wrath. That's loot. More loot. The loading screen really doesn't look good at all with the chattering and then the kind of portal forming. 